Welcome to Adulting with a Disability. Hi, my name is Martha and today's video is going to be about NDIS, Capital Supports. Tap on subscribe and the bell if you haven't already done so to be notified of new content. Capital supports include assistive technology and home modifications. Assistive technology can be a wheelchair, a hoist, a bed, a shower chair and things like that. An occupational therapist or physiotherapist needs to fill in an assistive technology form slash report to state what your requirements are and why you need them, along with two quotes for each item. The OT or physio would then need to recommend which of the quotes would suit you best and why. Along with this form and quote, you also need to fill in a consent form that goes in with your AT report in order to make sure that the report has been received by NDIS. The assistive technology report quotes and your signed consent need to be uploaded to the NDIS portal. This is normally done by the OT and physio. It's also best practice for all the material to be emailed to the AT reports email address. 48 hours after the report has been uploaded, it's good to ring in DIS and make sure that the reports and everything have been received and put in your file. So it's being processed accordingly. Don't wait until your equipment is dead before you start the process of applying for new equipment. The other capital support is home modifications and these may include ramps, handrails, hoist rails, or bathroom or kitchen renovations. A home modification assessment and report needs to be written by a qualified home modifications occupational therapist. They will come out and assess what needs to be done and write a report. Then they will get two builders to give a quote. The preferred quote will be specified in the report along with the quote and your signed consent form. They need to be uploaded to the NDIS portal emailed again to the appropriate email section and two days later a phone call needs to be made to make sure they have received the report quotes and your consent form and put in the file. This can all be done by the OT or you can help them out and make sure it's done. Approval, I'm not sure how long this takes. You can ask NDIS when you get on the phone to them. Okay, so you're probably asking who pays for the OT or the physiotherapist. This money comes out of your capacity building daily living funding. Normally, you need around 20 hours for a piece of equipment and five hours for each extra piece of equipment. Just so they can come out, assess what you need, come out with the equipment, see how it fits you, write the reports and do all the running around they have to do to get it done. Home modification report probably needs 20 hours plus as well. If you have enough money in your capacity building daily living support to get the report done before your plan review, that's probably the best way to do it because the process may be quicker. If you don't have enough money in your capacity building daily living budget, 
flag it in your plan review and tell them what you would like so they can make sure that you have enough money allocated to get these reports done for you. Make sure you contact your LAC or support coordinator for assistance and more information along the lines of capacity building, needing equipment or home lots. That's all from me today. See you next time. Bye for now.